Hi, this is Jonathan from TechSoft 3D, and I'm going to talk to you about developing the next generation of metrology software using the Hoops toolkits and Hoops platforms. Here at TechSoft, we are driven to fuel innovation with unmatched 3D technology. And that really is the case when you look at our different toolkits and platforms for developing engineering-based applications. Hoops Exchange is able to read accurately over 20 different file formats and give you access to the native geometry that exists therein. Hoops Visualize is a very powerful 3D graphics engine that's powering hundreds of different graphics applications in numerous industries. Hoops Publish is a native 3D PDF creation toolkit that allows you to 3D enrich your application and its reports. And Hoops Communicator builds upon those and allows you to take your data and visualize it within a web context. So let's take a look at some of these toolkits in action. Here we have the Hoops Demo Viewer, which is a demonstration application based on the Hoops Exchange toolkit and Hoops Visualize for displaying the CAD data we get in using Hoops Exchange. This is not a metrology application. Uh, here I've loaded an IGES file using Hoops Exchange. We're able to extract all of the geometry from it. And a common problem with IGES files is the faces within them are not sewn together, so it's not a watertight solid to begin with. Hoops Exchange allows you to automatically do that upon import. So here now we have a solid body, and we're able to visualize that using Hoops Visualize. We've built in some features here that show metrology workflows, and I want to show you one of those. In addition to loading that as designed CAD part, I want to load a set of points that were acquired using a laser scanner. So here we have 208,000 points that are brought in and displayed as well next to that CAD part. These points lie on or near the original surface. And the next thing we want to do is be able to determine how close each of those measured points are to the original surface. We're able to do that using Hoops Exchange. So we're not using an additional solid modeling kernel. We're using features within the Hoops Exchange SDK itself to determine how far each of those points are from the nearest face. And we're able to project those points onto the nearest point on the face and give the distance between the original point and the projected point as well as the direction. The next thing I want to do is take that information that's now stored in memory and create a texture map of it. So we, if we wanted to, we could have colored all those points, but instead we're going to further process that and create a very lightweight texture that we can overlay onto those surfaces. And so here we have the final result of our calculation, a texture map that's overlaid onto our original CAD part, which makes for a very lightweight visualization. So here we have a color map showing you the deviation of the manufactured part from the original CAD part as designed. Additionally, part of this workflow and part of the CMM workflow is now creating a report from this data. Here within a rich PDF document, we, we have both the, the 3D model but then a table of, area, of areas of concern. And I can click through that, so using JavaScript, each of the locations of the table in different views are then linked to changing the camera and then changing some additional data that, that shows exactly uh, what may be of interest as well as maximum upper and maximum lower deviations. This allows me to link 2D data from a table with the 3D model. That way I can consolidate many pages into just one in my CMM report. Please go to our website to learn more about TechSoft 3D our Hoops toolkits and how they can help you build powerful metrology software. Also, check out the white paper titled Developing the Next Generation of Metrology Software, which details the benefits of using Hoops technology.